Hello and welcome back to Provost Gaming and EU4 Mare Nostrum, playing as Venice. We are about to go to war. Oh good, a conversion of Crete is done. Let's get these Orthodox Zealots ticking down. Well, they're not quite there yet, unfortunately. No, they are. They are. I take that back. Ooh, wow. Where'd this other guy come from? There weren't two factions that had 60% a second ago. Oh, they got replaced. Eh, never mind. We are about to declare war against uh, the Byz Byzantines and take over Athens, southern Greece, and maybe Constantinople if we're feeling really gutsy. We could try that. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not, but eh, we're going to go for it. Let's declare the war. And let's immediately jump on these guys here in Athens. We'll almost instantly squish that. Our little vassal does get to get involved now, which is nice. Um, can I get here? I most certainly can, so why don't we get sieging down two provinces at the same time? My little vassal buddy is not doing... Gonna siege down Eka? Eka? Achia? I don't actually... Oh, uh, well, you know what? Another culture that I know nothing about the pronunciations, turns out, would be Greek. I know nothing about that, so... All right. Well, that siege is done. Uh, wow. We sieged their fort down instantly. Okay, they must have had it mothballed. Well, that was very fortunate for me, wasn't it? Okay, let's go ahead and gather up here. A beneficial transaction. In Venice, business and politics and irreversibly intertwined. Wait. Business and politics and irrever... You mean business and politics are irreversibly inter intertwined since a long time back. Sometimes we may be faced with deals that benefit many parties, but not the Republic itself. When the Serene Doge himself is one of those parties, the situation becomes all the more precarious. A good business, a business agreement builds good relations with key merchants, something we could certainly use. We can avoid alienating these partners if we are willing to sacrifice some of our integrity as a representative of the Republic. Do we lose some power or lose some in, uh, tradition in order to gain influence with the traders? Um, tough call. So the question then becomes five Republican tradition or 50 Diplo power. And you might say definitely want to lose the uh, Republican tradition, right? Because we have 92. Not necessarily. If I recall correctly, uh, I was reading up on Reddit somewhere. Someone did some calculations as to like how you ought to value Republican tradition. And... Um, their calculations, I can't remember the exact numbers, I feel like their calculations said that each Republican tradition was worth effectively, like, 34 monarch points, or something like that. So if that's true, right, then we have five Republican tradition being lost, which is equivalent to 170 monarch points, if you believe that. And that's far worse than losing 50 diplo power, so we're gonna actually lose the diplomatic power, we're gonna keep our integrity, it's worth more in the long run, they say, I agree. <clears throat> and we will call that a day. Now, we're going to be a little bit slow on getting administrative power, or our, our next uh, admin tech, because... Uh, let's actually just go ahead and detach a siege. I don't see any reason to uh, take extra losses for, you know, nothing really. Uh, Milan was discovered trying to build a spy network on us. Shocker. I think we were actually... No, wait. We were caught. We were caught fabricating on them. Gosh dang, it's so confusing how you have to do that. I've misread that several times watching other people play it. It's probably my own fault, but, you know, it's a thing. All right, what else do we want to do? Let's go ahead and improve relations with uh, France. You never know. We might actually be able to get an alliance with them eventually. Venice is currently at war, but that's the only reason they wouldn't accept an alliance. So, having France on our side is not a bad deal. And we did make them lose Genoa as their ally, so they're in the mood to get a new merchant republic on their side, surely. Yes. Yes, I do say so. Uh, Constantinople. How many people do you have? I don't know. Let's send our galleys and transports over here and see if we can't find out how many troops they have stacked. That's a lot more ships than I was expecting. Okie doke. Well, we probably are going to want to retreat from this battle because we are taking more damage than I wanted. So let's go ahead and retreat to Albania. We didn't lose anything, fortunately. We just took a little damage. But we're going to have to find a way to get to Constantinople... Hmm. Unfortunately, the Ottomans absolutely despise me. There's no other way to get to Constantinople. Hmm. Well, we may not be able to take Constantinople simply because it's impossible. We discovered an agent. We have been informed that Flanders has been discovered building a spy network. A sizable one. It's actually being reduced to 75. Flanders? 
What is Flanders doing building a spy network on me? That doesn't make any sense. A big one. I don't know. But they did. How bizarre. Alright, well. We are sieging down Athens. It's going to be a little while. Hopefully Byzantium is able to get some military access or something and march their way down here. I do not want Corfu to continue to be my vassal. I want to annex these guys. I want to annex all these guys as quickly as I can. I don't want to break vassalization. That's just losing territory for no good reason, but... Let's go ahead and improve uh, relations against Corfu for now. They're pretty small. We'd be able to annex them very rapidly. But I would like to do that. Free up a relationship slot. They are otherwise rather useless to me. Border tensions. We have a claim against something. What is this? Oh, it's Austria. Well, great. The people that I'm trying to make happy, I now have a claim against them. That doesn't generally bode well for me in that way, but there we go. Cassus Belly. It's there. Do you want to start a conversion? It's going to take 101 months. It's forever. Absolutely forever. We are automatically not spending any money on rooting out corruption. Yes, yes we are. Okay. So the fact that we are ahead of time in diplomatic tech automatically surpasses the uh, corruption is rooting it out, so we don't have to worry about whether the slider is up or not. It automatically adjusts, which is good. I like that. Importing iron. We strive to keep the Venetian military strong, modern, and domestically supported. But sometimes our priorities end up in conflict with each other. Lacking the rich iron mines of our neighbors, some of our grander plans for future military development will not be possible as soon as we might wish. Increasing imports is a tempting option, but relying on foreign support might compromise our trade policies. Although a knife in the back of our neighbor would be all the more brilliantly insidious if made from their own steel. Do we make Hungary like us and gain 60 military power, or... Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going to gain 2 mercantilism. I think that's better overall. It doesn't look to me like that's changed our corruption quite yet, so I think we're going to be fine. So now we're up to 27% mercantilism. That increases our provincial trade power, which is quite good. I do like that. Uh, do we go ahead and start this process? It's going to take absolutely forever, but if we don't start it, it's never going to happen. So, on the other hand, unrest is already at 6.2. That'll go up. Serbia has a claim here, too. That's interesting. Ottomans have a core against Albania. Um, I guess we go ahead and start the conversion process. It's going to take a very long time, but... We do want to uh, improve our religious... Actually, no. It's not worth it. We're going to have other things to, to uh, convert in a little bit. Once we take this territory. As soon as we can siege down freaking Athens, because it's taking forever. Advisor has died, but not an important one, so that's fine. We have a lot of money to work with still. We probably should continue to build more troops, so we will. Let's build two more infantry and one more cavalry. Because we can't afford things like that. One of the advantages of being a merchant republic is you make enough money that uh, mercs become very useful, so... It's entirely possible that as we pick out our first idea groups, we're going to want to take something that actually improves our mercenaries. Cyprus has joined a trade league led by Genoa. I actually should have considered getting Cyprus in on this. I totally forgot about them. Huh. Okay. Well, it's probably fine. Cyprus usually gets eaten up by the uh, Mamluks or the Ottomans at some point anyway. It's a little outside of my ability to defend. There goes the Siege of Athens. It took over a year, but it's done. We now have 50 um, War Enthusiasm, which is good. But we have no good way to get to Constantinople, which we kind of would need. I can't really get around easily because their fleets are in the way. We are fully repaired here. We can build another ship. Let's go ahead and build a galley, I think. Uh, it'll take 231 days in Venice because we start with a shipyard there. So yeah, let's go ahead and build a galley. Try to get a bit more naval superiority. And then I'll probably get my entire fleet together and see if we can't uh, get rid of the Byzant Byzantine navy. And we'll see if that opens up any options as far as landing in Constantinople. I kind of doubt it. Because I don't think we're going to have enough transports to really justify the... Um, <clears throat> the uh, landing penalty. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Let's just consider, though, if we wanted to do this... Well, I have no diplomats. 
Right. Uh, we'll remove our guy from Corfu. That doesn't matter right now. Let's consider. There are two buttons here, by the way. Unconditional Surrender, which is a terrible thing for us to do. We do not want to surrender. We want to offer a peace deal to them. Make sure you never misclick that. Unless we uh, absolutely want to. So, we could take all of these. It costs us 37. We could take 100 and summit ducats. No? 14 ducats. Constantinople is also 41% war score. This is currently going to cost us 129 admin power. I kind of want to take it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Without the access from the Ottomans... I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. The Ottomans are never going to give access to the Byzantines, which means I'm never going to be able to get it, because they won't give it to me either. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to get there without any really heavy losses. I'd have to land my troops very rapidly to try and take over that landing penalty. That said, you are on tech level 3. I kind of want to try. It's really arrogant of me, perhaps, but I, I kind of want to try. Let's, um, let's go ahead and get our navy down here. The Barbary pirates have once again caused problems for me. We'll recall our diplomat away from Austria. That's no longer relevant to us. Um. Hmm. Savoy kind of likes us. Bavaria, Bohemia. I think we just want to build spy networks more than anything else. Can I build one against you yet? Not yet. All right. Um, how about we build one against the Ottomans for a while? We'll see if that works for us. Maybe we can counter-espionage them if we had to. We'll see what we can do. See if we can do anything to mess with them. So it looks like Nexos, or Nexos, decided to send their fleet out here. Very ill-advised. I'm not sure why they did that. I haven't arrived yet. So they're going to lose both their ships. Bunch of dummies. But all right. So here we are. They have 10 troops, and we have 10 transports. So we would suffer a pretty nasty landing penalty trying to get here. I don't think it's going to happen. I want to, but I don't think I can. I'd have to send some troops, take the landing penalty, immediately send my fleet to go and pick up the rest and drop them off before the battle ends. And you have a 0141 general. I don't think it's going to happen. I'm sorry. I, I don't think it is. So we're going to take what we can get here. We are going to do a peace deal. We have got you blockaded, which means we do have a lot more war score, so we can take money out of you, I think. Not as much as I thought we would. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I think this is going to have to be good enough. Constantinople would have been a fantastic province to get, but alas, without my ability to siege it down, I don't think it's going to happen. Gosh, do I want to try? It's a terrible idea. It's a really terrible idea. And that's why it just might work. All right, screw it. We're going to do it. Ten transports. Let's go to the Aegean Sea. We're going to pick these guys up. And we are going to try to move on Constantinople. This is extremely ill-advised. No, 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 no. You guys don't understand. I want the 10 stack to go first. Uh, one, two, three. Let's see. You have six infantry. So I think we actually should be able to do six infantry and four cavalry. And we'll be okay. I think that's okay. Let's take a quick look at this. You cannot have more than 50% cavalry compared to your infantry in battle. Well, that's fine. We don't have that. So, yeah. All right. Good. So, let's get these two guys combined. Let's make sure that the general is in charge here. He's a terrible general. He's not going to help at all, but we're going to do it. All right. It's so crazy, it just might work. Let's make it happen. Uh, oh boy, this is very dumb. This is a very dumb idea, just FYI, in case you were one. Well, hang on. Wait a minute, one thing I forgot. It takes, it takes a freaking month. 
No, this is not going to work. Never mind. Never mind. I know I'm chickening out, but never mind. It's not going to work. The reason being, it takes a full month to do a foreign invasion, a landing, on your enemy like this. So, even if I were able to get the fleet over here, pick up the troops, and get over here, it's going to take another month to reinforce. By then, the battle will be long over. Yeah, no. It's not going to happen. Let's take what we can get. We're going to get 57 ducats. We're going to take three provinces, and we'll call it there. Thank you. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get our troops located here in Athens. Uh, let us begin the coring process. Now, I believe that these are making them into territories for the time being. So what's going to happen as when you are coring a territory is it costs 50% of the normal coring cost, right? So it used to be, what, 110 admin power in order to core um, an 11 development province if you didn't have a claim? Well, it's going to be less than that, so it's going to be 55 to core it initially. You'll make it into a territorial core, and then we can decide if we want to make it into a state. And that's kind of important just because, well, I don't know, really? It's really complicated. It changes your autonomy. Because we are a territory, we have a minimum of 75% autonomy. If we were to make it into a state after we core it, then that would get lowered even further. It's basically like having an overseas province, but it's not actually overseas, if that makes any sense. Grasslands, highlands, highlands, we would much rather be in the highlands for a rebellion, so we will keep them over there. Albanian separatists are at 40% currently. Uh, yeah, there's nothing we can do about that for a little while. Our corruption is growing. That's unfortunate. Our overextension is a big factor. It'll take us a little while to root that down, but, uh, oh well. We are currently rooting out corruption. It is costing me a lot of money. It would cost me 3.94 ducats to completely root this out. Gives you an idea of just how bad this is. Corruption is rough. That said, I think we're going to be okay with, uh, very little rooting out for the time being, so... Let's keep that relatively low. Alright, we have 524 ducats to spend. We might as well do some things with it. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves another infantry. We don't need any more ships. Um, nothing we care about here. I don't think I want to build any new forts. We already have one here anyway. Which I could get rid of. I'm not sure I necessarily need one down here, but... You know, it's there. I just have a lot of money and not a lot to spend it on yet, because I do not have the next level of admin pow uh, technology yet. When I have that, I'll probably build a whole bunch of churches, but until then, oh well. Poor uniforms. Morale of armies goes down by 5%. Damn them. Damn them all to heck. Let's go ahead and retreat the combat fleet to Albania. Transports will also go here, and these guys will continue to protect trade in Venice. There we go. Alright. Good enough for me. Uh, Milan has once again been trying to build a spy network against me. How are you doing that already? I can't. Hmm. Interesting. If we were... That's interesting. Well, if we were a uh, monarchy, we'd be able to do royal marriages with Austria, even though... I don't know. That's kind of weird. It's kind of weird how they would uh, almost ally us. So, do we want to ally France? Yes, I do think we do. So we're going to. Let's get an alliance with France going. That does put us over the relationship limit, I am aware. But I think for France, it's probably totally worth it. And hopefully in the near future, we will be able to annex one of our tiny little vassals. In fact, let's go ahead and continue to improve relations with, uh, I don't know, let's actually do it with Nexos or Naxos or whoever this is. Let's see. Nine development is better, though. Although the Ottomans have already claimed it, so... Hmm. We'll go with the original plan. We'll continue to improve relations with Corfu. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to do some stuff with that. We could become Defender of the Faith right now, which is interesting. Missionaries, morale of armies, navies, monthly war exhaustion, prestige, tech cost... Some fun things you can do with that, but I don't think that's really relevant to us. Um... Do we want to try to get some other people to join our trade league? What if we got, like, Augsburg and Memmingen to join? They are both in the VN trade node. So if they gave us their trade power, we would be able to get more money in Venice. 
Salzburg as well, actually. It would be kind of funny if we could do that, wouldn't it? Not only would that severely inhibit Austria, but that would just downright be funny, wouldn't it? I do think it would. Let's improve relations with Memmingen. They are a free city. Can free cities join? I assume they can. Huh. They're allied to Bavaria currently. Stop relationship improvement. Invite to Trade League. Yeah, free cities absolutely can join. Okay, that's not even that bad, really, because we are pretty darn sure that Austria is not going to attack a free city. Because that would just be bad for them. Anschbach, allied with the Palatinate. Salzburg, I should say, not Anschbach. Hmm. Well, they're less likely to join. The size of the Trade League is too large. Now, that doesn't make sense. You would think that the larger the Trade League is, the more likely people would want to join it because, you know, it's a defensive pact. Especially for one province miners. But apparently this is not the case. Not with them. How weird. I'm not sure why that got programmed into the game, but it did. Alright, well, if we just improve relations with, let's say, Augsburg for a little bit. Actually, who has, um, who has better diplomatic development or trade power? 4.3? 4. All right, Augsburg it is. Let's improve relations with them, possibly get them to join as well. All right, we're going to call the video here, but I do thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe for future content. And I, as always, will see you guys next time.